Okay, so my name is Ashima and uh, all the teaching, everything will be done by me. Okay, the helper is only limited to helping the kids pack and, you know, some dispersal. So the class caters to three aspects in English. You have comprehension, you have grammar and you have creative writing. So we cover all these three elements for all the grades. Yeah, comprehensions involve passages which are fiction and non-fiction both. So informative and story as well. Now, in the comprehensions, we deal with different kinds of concepts, wherein
with them simple writing assignments which are only sentences okay like they are given a sentence and then the words are underlined they rewrite it by changing the underlined words with whatever words they want to like skillful has become adroit early has become at the crack of dawn many has become umpteen shiny has become radiant so it's up to you they will learn three four words it's up to them whatever they want to use from sentences we move to paragraphs your compositions and your essays so here the vocabulary application means they are shown how to apply it and after this we even have omos omos means where they are given a topic and they have to write on their own but using these techniques so for example this was a video they so we learn with a, in a lot of way they are given you know series of pictures or events and they have to create on their own or sometimes i share a video with you a small cartoon video for like 2 minutes 3 minutes and they watch and they create their own so this was that cartoon video where these kids they get lost in the forest and they have a dog the dog gets scared and he runs into this haunted house and the kids follow the dog so now i'm giving you two different interpretations of their homework of how they started this one child here started with uh, the weather she her idea was one splendid saturday evening rahul and tina's uh, frolicsome companions called them out to play rahul and tina were siblings they both were doing their monotonous homework on hearing the word play they both left their homework and sprinted into the woods with bob their adorable dog but this one has started in a different way the towering and robust trees reached towards the sky as if praying for a way out two children ben and mini went into the forest on a dark night while going to the forest the place wore a blanket of thick fog and they couldn't see clearly so she started from the beginning of how they went to the forest she started her story with the characters already being in the forest so everyone has a different approach to it and of course we for like for example if you can notice you can see there's a little fog over here so you know how they pick up the elements from what they are seeing and applying that's what shown them ki what can you see in the video apart from only focusing on this character look around them also is there something we can add because creative writing should be such that the tomorrow a third person reading should be able to imagine it in his or her mind so like this they are taught in the class how to go about now similarly this was like a picture given so basically they had series of pictures and they had to create their own um story tale about it like there was this boy in a village he was in the market and the king was distributing candies he was very happy and candies were over so he gives this boy a pouch and the boy goes home and then so on so on it happens so now again two different uh, students two different interpretations he started with a dialogue he said oh no the market is so crowded jack said as he stepped in the busy market which was bursting at seams Jack was a pauper he was disheveled and had unsavory looks see they were picking up all this from whatever we are doing in class and then she started in a different way she said light years ago in a quaint village resided a lad who was born with chicken feet his name was rohan he wore filthy tattered clothes he had a mop of raven black hair and was emaciated for he was as poor as a church mouse so you know, the uh, story lines are completely different but the story given to all is the same so creative writing means ki how you are applying it it's not that all of you all have to like mug and vomit the same uh, things so this comes after we go through the process of basic application your dictionary then and what we do it this is repeated throughout after they make a dictionary the first thing we do is in the form of sentences you know it's always easier to first do it in a baby step then a bigger step then on your own and it happens in every topic every new topic we do sentences then a essay then on your own then, so this way it becomes habitual for them and they enjoy doing it the only contribution i need from the parent in this is whatever we write in class you know this particular writing work this is written in a book whatever we are writing in the book it's really important that the child has to read it at home that this book should be read minimum thrice a week now it's not too much because it's not that every class we are writing you know so if in one week you might have written like one topic or in two weeks two topics some weeks you might be doing grammar and comprehension you might have not written that week so 
so it's not that you are reading like oh my god a lot of there there are too many activities or it's burdensome for you to read it's pretty much uh, you know simple and concise why look we can mug on it when i read it it becomes a natural way of speaking and of course when we're doing it in class we encourage them to speak like that to each other so that you know it's normal grammar okay the rules are learnable but you can't learn creative writing only when we keep applying it over and over again it becomes very normal to us and see by the end of the day they learn how to juggle their words by juggling i mean that if you are learning many new words if i know that happy means jubilant and bleak it's up to me how i want to use it you know somewhere i might just use happy somewhere i might use fancy somewhere i can make it easy but you become the master of how you want to play around so only help i need from the parents is that make sure that the kids are see any way they read because what happens is they are given a creative writing assignment every week okay and it's not some 5 600 words or something they have to write it's minimal so they to do that writing assignment they'll anyway have to refer to the work okay so they are forced to do that but if the reading part becomes a way of life they will enjoy the process but if one day before an exam or an assignment you'll open the book it's not a lovely magic lamp it's not going to help them if they really do this bit religiously in one class you'll see a change one class that's all i'm asking so uh, on a, and of course whatever you're doing in language will help you throughout your life it's not only to the 10th what if after 10th you are not taking hsc and you are doing ibdp or a level there the english level is very high and you know, all these things are new it was not there initially so you can't predict 6 7 years down the line what your child is going to take or what your child is going to do so to the struggle instead of struggling then you might as well start taking baby steps and learn things now there should be no help in the homework if the child doesn't understand something it will come right back to me but i don't want mother sister tuition teacher anyone getting involved because the way i want to teach the child will be different what i want to put in the child will be different also see i understand each child's potential how much i would want to put in the child at a particular given time will be very different from what somebody else might want to do the point is we don't want to compare we want the kids to grow as per his or her potential in these 10 months you have two exams one happens before um, diwali and one happens in the month of march because the class functions june to march even at that time the entire revision before the exam is done in the class and if you are reading from day 1 then creative writing should not be a problem see it's a language when we are doing a language it is should be very easy it's spontaneous there's nothing i mug in a language is the way i speak to give a test or an assignment there is no special preparation that you have to go through it has to be done very spontaneously and that's what we aim that the kids do in class if you miss a class i don't have many batches you know there's only one batch each age group and what happens is there already the seats are full so i can't put you in some other batch because there's no place for the child to sit the day and time you are absent i will share the video of that class with you the child can watch the video and see what we did in the class if they don't understand they can always bring it back to me and i will help them out but you know sometimes it might not happen that say you're absent in one class in the second class only i cleared it in the course of the week i will because it depends on the flow of the activity but as i mentioned that the teaching and understanding would be between me and the child i don't want too many people involved also try to be strict with homework you know if they of course if for an unavoidable reason during exams and all i don't expect them to do homework so no stress at that time but say you know for some reason they were not able to do their homework um we try to chalk out a plan so that it becomes easy because if homework piles up it will become too much that's the time when you know what will happen is they'll just do a very lazy attempt and then they'll spoil the learning of that particular thing so of course it's not i'm saying uh, by chance if it's missed we can plan it but don't make it a regular habit otherwise the child will be at a loss you know and then later on things will become very heavy for him or her which i don't want it going that way so reading is something i need you and me to share the responsibility remaining everything will be taken care of in the class if there are any doubts you have pertaining to anything
please feel free to ask them. Even if you remember later, you can always drop a message or something. Also, the class starts at 8.30 a.m. and I'm working till 8.30 p.m. So in the day, I might not get the time to talk to you because my lunch breaks are not fixed. But if there's anything, I will definitely call you after 8.30 p.m. I'm very spontaneous on messages. I try to message as soon as possible. But when the class is on, no. My phones are on silent. So if it's ringing, not ringing, I have no idea because I'm here, not over there most of the time. Yeah. So I will definitely get in touch with you after class. Even on your absence and if I have to send a video, I will send it to you after 8.30 p.m. If the upload happens quick, then I can send it even in my lunch break. But after 8.30, once I'm free with everyone, then I will post the work. Anything? Any doubts? Oh, that, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad. But still, if you would think of anything later, I'm always...